Dear learners, welcome to the course Antennas and Microwave Engineering. In this video, I will explain how to solve the problems related to directional coupler. First example is calculate the coupling factor of a directional coupler when incident power is 600 milliwatts and the power in axillary waveguide is 350 microwatts. In the previous video, I have explained the working principle of directional coupler and important parameters related to directional coupler. First, we have to write what are the values given in the problem. P1 is given. The directional coupler when incident power is 600 milliwatts. So, P1 is 600 milliwatts. And power in axillary waveguide is P4, 350 microwatts. So, coupling factor is the ratio of P1 by P4. It is expressed in decibels. So, C is equal to 10 log of P1 by P4. Now, we substitute the values of P1 and P4. We will get C is equal to 32.34 decibels. So, in this way, we solve the problem related to the coupling factor. Once we know the value of a P1, P4, we can easily find the coupling factor of a directional coupler. Second example. For a directional coupler, the incident power is 550. Calculate the power in the main arm and axillary arm. The coupling factor is 30 dB. Directional coupler is a 4 port uh, microwave device. We know that P1, P2, P3, P4. At port 3, there will be no output. Output is 0. So, the coupling factor is 10 log of P1 by P4. Here what is the question? We have to find what is the power in the main arm and axillary arm. First, we write down this P1 is 550 milliwatts. C is given 30 dB. So, from this uh, numerical expression, we find here we substitute the value of P1. P1 is 550 milliwatts. Here yeah, P1 is 550 milliwatts. We substitute is from this we find what is P4. So P, P4 is 550 microwatts. Power in axillary arm is 550 microwatts. The question is we have to find the power in the main arm also. So how we find that the output power is equal to input power minus axillary power. So, therefore, P1 minus P4 is equal to 549.45 milliwatts. So, this is the output power in the main arm, P2, 549.45 milliwatts. The third example, find the directivity in decibels for a coupler. If same power is applied in turn to input and output of the coupler with the output terminated in each case in a matched impedance. The axillary output readings are 450 milliwatts and 0 0.710 microwatts. First we write axillary outputs P3. Point 710 microwatts, P4 is 450 milliwatts. Directivity is 10 log of P4 by P3. So, from this we calculate directivity of a directional coupler is 58 decibels. In another example, incident power to a directional coupler is 90 watts. The directional coupler has coupling factor of 20 dB, directivity of 35 dB 
and insertion loss of 0.5 dB. Find the output power at main norm, coupled and isolated ports. So we find P2, P3 and P4. First we write P1, 90 watts, C is given 20 dB, D is also given 35 dB. So coupling factor is 10 log of P1 by P4. And C is equal to, from this we find power at port 4, P4. Therefore, the coupled power is 0.9 watts. Power at the coupled port is 0.9 watts. Next, from the directivity, we can find the power at port 3. We substitute 35 is equal to 10 log of 0.9 by P3. So, from this, P3 is equal to 284.60 microwatts. Therefore, the isolated power is 284.60 microwatts. Next, now the received power is P1 minus P4 plus P3. Incident power minus power at uh, fourth port and the third port. So, therefore, PR is equal to 89.099 watts power received at main now that is equal to 0 0.0436 decibels. So in this way we calculate power at main now axillary and isolated ports. The insertion loss is 0.5 dB so the effective received power is P R minus I. Therefore, the output power at main norm is minus 0.4564 decibels. Another example, example 5 is a waveguide termination having BSWR of 1.1 is used to dissipate 100 watts of power. Find the reflected power. VSWR is given 1.1. So, reflection coefficient is equal to SWR minus 1 divided by SWR plus 1. So, we substitute the value, we will get the reflection coefficient is 0 0.04762. Reflected power is rho square Pi. So, therefore, Reflected power is 0.2268 watts. So, from this discussion, you could understand how to solve the problems related to the directional coupler. Thank you.